Well, hello everyone, Dan Herbert, Dan Herbert Prospecting here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. I hope to earn your subscription today. I'm back here on the Fraser River at my Jade Claim. Today, we're finding some great pieces of Fraser River Nephrite Jade and some gem serpentine. So wish me luck and I hope you enjoy. Now in the fall when I was out here, I found a spectacular piece of Fraser River Nephrite Jade. In that video, I was explaining all about identifying jade, my whole learning curve, how to tell the difference between jade and serpentine, all that kind of stuff. And I said I was gonna find a lab and send a bunch away to get tested. Now the lab I found said they didn't test raw jade. It had to be finished product. So that wasn't gonna work for me. Well, when I well when I put out that video, one of my fans contacted me and said, Dan, I've got the equipment to test that jade. So today, I'm gonna see what I can find. I'm gonna cut a bunch of small pieces, send off to my new friend, and see what the machine says for nephrite versus serpentine. But before that, I gotta go find some rocks. So let's go do this. Now, one reason I like this claim over my other Fraser River claims is this claim is very steep sides to the river and material that is constantly shedding down over the bar. Every year when the Fraser River floods, it brings the water way up to this height here and it processes all of this gravel along here, brings new stuff down, exposes new things. It is a brand new bar every year, exposing new jade every year. Now, I was here in the fall and I hunted this bar really carefully and it has not had a spring runoff to reprocess everything. So I think the way I'm gonna get new material for today is I'm gonna walk to the far end of the claim where I don't usually get to not even picking stuff up on the way. I'll turn around there and walk back and see if the far end where I haven't hunted yet this year has some good stuff. But of course, if I find something great along the way, I will pick it up. And also hunting on the way back is a bit better because of the position of the sun. The sun is up there. And because of that, the way it hits the gravel and bounces back at me, I'm seeing sort of the shadow side of every rock. Looking this way, I see direct into the sun, the direct full sunlight hitting the rock. Easier to uh, see the jade going this way. So it'll just be easier walking backwards. Walking backwards? No, don't want to do that. Walking from that end to this end. Big chunk of serpentine. Just because it's serpentine doesn't mean it's not a beautiful rock. You cut that thing open and what's inside is outstanding. But A, it's big. B, I'm still going. I'm going there. I want to collect on the way back. This is kind of funny. Last year when I was here, I left a couple cairns showing rocks that I wanted to take. Oh look, there's one. I don't want that rock right now. I've picked up two little guys so far. I've had good uh, restraint and not to pick up too much, but two real nice little uh, pieces of gem serpentine. I've left lots of big ones behind but I don't want to carry weight all the way to the other end just to carry it back. Now there's a beauty. What's best? Sun on it like that? I'm not sure. How about I lick it? Ah, I'll lick it. Oh yeah. Hard, hard rock. Very hard. Anyhow, I'm not picking these up on the way there. I might pick it up on the way back. Unless I have something better. Now that is a gorgeous chunk of mutton fat jade. Way too big for me to take. Mutton fat jade here on the Fraser, Fraser River mutton fat jade, is a mineral known as selenite. And it's not actually jade, it just has very similar properties to jade, other than being white, not green. But jade can actually come in any color of the rainbow. Oh look, another one. And <laughs> that one's huge. Almost at the end of my claim. Almost time to turn around and go back, but I just found a really nice one. See that green rock down there? Ooh, where am I pointing? Uh, pointing there somewhere. <laughs> it's too bright out here. I can't see on my own screen. <laughs> Let's just pick it up. Beautiful rock. Really bright apple green. Some darker green banding inside. Cut that open. It's just going to be outstanding. Let's go to like. Oh, yeah. Ooh, how about the end? Yeah. Oh baby, yeah. Okay, we'll throw that one in. I'm almost at the end. Oh look, some Chinese writing stone. Another one for the backpack. 
I'm gonna turn around here really soon. A lot of people suggest they should get a real um, carrying backpack for jade hunting, but my problem is I have no willpower. I will fill whatever case I have, uh, even if it means I can't lift it. So I go for small backpacks, that way it limits what I can carry back to a reasonable amount. And that's my theory. If I use one of those big pack boards that have a big bag on it, that's easier to carry, sure, better on your back, I would put so much in it that I would just absolutely kill myself. So, small backpacks it is for me. A little harder on my shoulders though. I'm gonna turn around at that rock right there. Okay, I made it to my turnaround rock. Oh, here comes a train. Strangely enough, right beside the rock I said I was gonna turn around at, <laughs> there's a big piece of, probably serpentine. Beautiful rock. Beautiful rock. I'm not carrying that one all the way back. I'm not gonna come the farthest possible part, point away to pick up the biggest rock of the day. Still looking for those perfect jade pieces. And if you want to know how to tell the difference between nephrite jade, what we have here on the Fraser River, and gem serpentine, those are the two common things here on the river. If you want to know the difference between the two of them, go back and check out some previous videos. I have entire videos about how to identify between the two. And if you do go back, make sure you look at the more recent videos as I'm more accurate more recently than I was originally when I was still learning lots. I had to come up out of the wind. It is just howling down there, the wind. Way too much to film at the moment. Another thing is, people often say, Dan, how can you find so much? I went out for like hours and couldn't find anything. Well, in a typical year, I probably spend about 10 full days hunting bars for jade. I spend a lot of time, it's my job, so I can spend the time to do it. Someone going out for two or three hours, just walking a bar somewhere, if you don't find much, well, just keep at it. Uh, give it enough time and you will find something nice. In fact, this video here is going to be taken over two days. It's actually two separate jade hunts that I will be doing in this one video. See if you can tell the difference between the footage. I think you can. The weather was different. <laughs> Anyhow, back to the bar to find some more. Another beaut. Let's look it. Yeah. Okay, didn't really change much. That's a great rock. Oh, listen to how hard it is. Oh, that is serpentine, but oh my goodness, has it been altered? It is hard. It is baked, baked, baked. Just didn't quite bake into jade. Without the right situation, with the right chemicals underground, no matter how hard you bake serpentine, it doesn't turn to jade. You need the right environment. But that one's baked. Now that is a good one. Don't see inclusions, so it's good chance that is nephrite. I like it. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, let's get a close up on that. Wind's too much, it dries too fast. But that is looking nice. That was close. Looking at that one, it is close, close, close. Almost no inclusions. Uh, if it were smaller, I would take it but I believe that's still serpentine. I see something over there. It's almost like a bluish color. Let's go have a look. Oh, that's really neat. Oh, it's shiny. I think I just found a piece of jade. Absolutely. That's gotta be it. the crack inside there. Beautifully sort of apple green translucent. The inclusions I do see, I do see a couple, but not many. And then this white on the surface. Uh, a buddy of mine was just telling me what this white was. I forget the name of the mineral. Uh, Dave? You were telling me at the show, what was the white? Tell me what the weight was. Leave a comment below. Uh, but yes, that is great. Love it right there. Let me get the close up on that piece. That's awesome. And it's big enough that I'm gonna regret already filling half my backpack. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, no willpower. So for the last hour or so, I've just left my backpack at the big rock with the serpentine rock uh, and just wandered around looking to see what I can find in the area. My backpack is getting full. It's not full yet, but I do want to still be able to collect on the way back. I think I will abandon here for now. There is great material over here, but time to start heading back. 
Plus, I'm hungry. Apparently this rock here is an indicator of nephrite jade. Must form under a very similar situation or something like that. But I have been told that if you see this rock, it could be formed near where jade was formed. Now in a river like this, this could be like thousands of miles away from where it formed. But apparently that stuff there is an indicator of nephrite jade. Hey, 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 that is the best of the best of gem serpentine. You don't get better than that. Sure, I've got room in my backpack still. <laughs> now check that one out. Isn't that bizarre? <laughs> oh, piece of serpentine right beside it. It's a nice piece of serpentine. Very nice. But <laughs> I stopped to look at that thing. That's great. I can tell by the powdery surface on the surface. Powdery surface on the surface? Sure, the powdery surface on the surface. That that is definitely a serpentine, not a jade. But again, beautiful rock. And the Fraser River is also known for these crazy conglomerates. They're a very green conglomerate. The glue that holds all the cobbles together, this is, you know, natural geological glue, uh, is a green. And it makes these crazy green conglomerates that always weather sort of lumpy and bumpy because some of the rocks are hard, some of them are soft. Granites, quartzites, all sorts of things in there. Basalts, all glued together with a green mud and then baked and heated and made into this conglomerate rock. And Fraser River turquoise. This stuff is not a real turquoise at all, but it has that turquoise color and we find this all over the place on the Fraser River, named Fraser River Turquoise. More Fraser River Turquoise. Ah, I lick rocks. <laughs> That's looking like a jade right there. Sounds hard. Has the right look to it. I think that one gets put in my bag. Beauty. Fraser River Turquoise. It's everywhere. And another great piece of jade. Beautiful stuff. Let's get the close up on that so you can see what I'm talking about. Beautiful, pure, translucent greens. That is a great rock again. Kind of fractured up, but the inside should be good. And then there's these iffy stones. It's definitely an altered serpentine or serpentinite that um, has been baked and made hard but doesn't quite have the right environment to bake it into jade so very very hard rock but probably still serpentine if it doesn't have the calcium in that baking process it doesn't make that final transition into what we know as jade and if you're one of those people that say hey dan that's just serpentine not all rocks can be jade everyone you pick up seems to be jade well i don't show that one there Probably serpentine. That there is definitely serpentine. Uh, there was another one around here. Oh, there's definitely serpentine. Definitely serpentine. That's probably serpentine. Yes, I go through a lot before I find one that I like to show off on camera as being probably, good chance, that's jade. Look at that thing. That is the best, best color gem serpentine. It's that bright apple green that is beautiful stuff. Unfortunately, that rock's a bit big for me to carry out of here. I got a long hike back to the truck. And I've got lots of great stone, but wow, won't I have liked to have taken that one. And this here is a piece of black nephrite or black jade. Uh, Fraser River is known for its extremely dark, dark, dark green nephrites, which we call black jade. People like this stuff. It's still great for carving, really tough. Some people will use it for backings on doublets. That's uh, cabochons that have something on the back to stabilize it, make it stronger. Uh, this stuff is so tough, so strong, so dark. Works great with backing opals. I'm not sure what my stock of black jade is like at home right now. I might take that one because I might be running low. Uh-oh, backpack's starting to get heavy. Ho, 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 look at that. See how shiny this rock is? It means it's very, very hard. Polished by the river. With all those inclusions in it, it's most likely a serpentine. But that's really nice. Really nice. There are some jades that still have inclusions like that, so it's possible it's jade. My gut feeling now is that that's a serpentine, but that is a beautiful gem serpentine. That's going in the bag for sure. 
that might actually be it see that little crack right there look at the green translucency on it let me lick that for a second <laughs> lick rocks oh that's good apple green that's what you're looking for apple green This looks good. This looks really good. I see no inclusions in this piece. If I can find something that indicates it's translucent, that is a nice piece. I don't see any indications of translucency on it, but that's not because it's nece not necessarily translucent. It's because there's no fractures that go close to the surface, sort of horizontally, that would uh, indicate whether or not it's translucent. I think I'm gonna throw that in and give it a cut to find out. It's a heavy rock, that'll mean my backpack is full, but it might be worth it. That could be a good one. I smashed my thumb yesterday at Pickerton when I was gold mining. Ah, and every time I hit it on something, oh, the pain. I just bumped the zipper of my backpack. Oh, ho, ho, the pain. Oh, it's bleeding again. Lovely. I guess they do make band-aids for that. I can do this. It's not that heavy. Oh, Jade. <laughs> Probably a serpentine. It is a nice rock, but I'm too heavy. I'm gonna start crying. Some of the material I'm passing over here because I'm too full. Can't pass up that one. But, oh, I have walked over a hundred pieces I wanted to take. Oh, I need a stronger back. Wow, I made it back to this rock. <laughs> That was quite the trek. That was a lot of weight on my back. And I passed over hundreds of great rocks. Now it's time to take those home, cut out a little sliver of each one, and send off to have it checked to see if it's nephrite or serpentine. I am pretty positive I found three pieces of nephrite. There are two that are iffy, and then I found a bunch of great gem serpentine. We'll see what the results from the tests say. So the first few cuts are off the saw. Let's have a look and see what this stuff looks like. Looking at this stuff backlit. What an amazing color coming out of this either gem serpentine or nephrite jade. This one is definitely serpentine, but I love this stuff. Now the saws are still going downstairs. We're gonna cut a bunch of small pieces, label them all, pack them up, and send them off to Steven from Angry Turtle Gems. He's gonna test them all and see which ones are serpentine. This one here for sure is serpentine. And which ones are nephrite, if any. Keeping my fingers crossed. And I've asked Steven to make a little video on the testing itself. So hopefully we can include that in this video. So I'm gonna take a good shot of each and every one, mark a number on it, and send it away. And that way, when I get the results back, I'll know what to look for in the material for the real jade. I'm pretty sure some of these with massive magnetite inclusions like that are a serpentine. There's another one with big inclusions. But we also have things like right below it, or that down there, or him, which I'm pretty sure our real jade. my samples ready to go in to be tested. And now to send them all in and see what they say. So Steven, what do you think? 
Hey, I'm Steven from Turtles Horde, and look what just came in the mail. Let's get this opened up. Dan mentioned that there'd been some questions in the comments over whether Fraser River Jade was really jade, and ever since I've been wanting to scan some samples with my Raman spectrometer. These babies identify chemicals by hitting them with a laser. The crystal lattice vibrates and absorbs some of the laser's energy, so what bounces back has a distinct spectral shift that's unique to the material, basically a fingerprint for minerals. Because serpentine and nephrite jade have completely different crystal structures, they look completely different to the spectrometers, so there's no chance of any confusion. But unlike that big topaz, these slabs are made of masses of crystals and their spectrum isn't nearly as clean, so we'll have to take it into our external app for further analysis. And what do you know? Nephrite's a mixture of tremolite and actinolite, so we can say with 100% certainty that this sample is nephrite jade and not serpentine. But scanning this next one, which is also a beautiful green slab, the top matches lizardite, which is a member of the serpentine family, though named totally coincidentally. And hey, ramen scans are free, so I could do all of these in about an hour while watching TV. These four are nephrite, and the rest are serpentine. Thanks so much for letting me zap these with my laser. Now back to you, Dan. Thanks, Steven. Those are actually awesome results. Now, can you tell us briefly what it is you actually do? Well, thanks, Dan. Here at Turtles Horde, we take crystals grown for use in science, medicine, and industry that don't quite meet spec, and give them a new life as gemstones. Some of them have really crazy properties that aren't found in any natural crystal. And we just launched a kit to start faceting gemstones for under $500. You can get more information at facet.ing or on turtleshoard.com. Well, back to the river to sign off. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me that thumbs up. If I haven't earned your subscription yet, I hope I earned it today. And a big thanks to everyone for watching. Hope you're all having a great day. And until the next one, bye.